feet, ready to make some noise because, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for finals match number one. Let's meet the Red Alliance. Beginning with the team from Kansas City, Missouri, it is Team 9065C Phantom Robotics. Also in red from Anhui, China, it is Team 16,666B. And last but most certainly not least in the Red Alliance from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, X Robo Canada be exact. Put your hands together for Team 1404B, the Sharks! Squaring off against them in blue in this clash of titans, representing Santa Clara, California, Nibot Robotics, it is Team 86,868, the Resistance! From Beijing, China, representing the International Flair here at the Vex Robotics World Championship. Please put your hands together for Team 7258 High School Beijing Tech A. And again, last but most certainly not least in blue from Shanghai, China. Be loud, be proud, it's Team 8192D. Red Alliance, are you ready? Blue Alliance, are you ready? Louisville, get those flashlights out again. Let's see the fireflies take over the sky because we're counting down to crown a world champion. In three, two, one, go! Welcome to high school finals match number one. This is the autonomous period here. We're seeing some defensive posturing on the far fence right there, 72-58A. Scoring unimpeded right now. Blue with the autonomous bonus. Countdown of driver control in three, two, one, go. These drivers will have ice water in their veins, ladies and gentlemen. So much on the line here, but the moment is not getting to them. Both teams active and trying to score right now. A test of wills right at the far side of the fence. A cube ending up on the blue side. In the meantime, red scoring in the near zone. Two cubes stacked up. It's the irresistible force versus the immovable object at the center of the fence. Who's it going to be? Red with the early advantage. Blue matching them. A zero-sum game right now. It's like watching Rocky and Apollo exchange blows right here on the Northrop Grumman Foundation field with a minute left. Red looks like they might be a little bit tangled up. This could be a tough break. In the meantime, Blue is taking advantage and pouring on the scoring here. Red really needs to take their time here and work this out. Under one minute remaining, Blue content to sit back and watch. After all, there's not much else for them to do. In case you are just joining us at home, ladies and gentlemen, we are live and in living color here at Freedom Hall. It's the 10th anniversary of the Vex Robotics World Championship. Red <laughs> desperately trying to get untangled here with 30 seconds left in the match. Blue having little sympathy for the ills of the Red Alliance as they are scoring at will. Dropping that last cube over. Red finally looks like they might be free. They have their work cut out for him here with 10 seconds left. Let's see if they can charge hard. In five, four, three, two, one. That's it. It's a tough break for Red on that one. Incredible action here in the Northrop Grumman Foundation field. Paul and Karthik, take it away. Well, that match was filled with intrigue and drama right there. We had one robot go over on the Red Alliance, on that Math Alliance. Their partner tried to lift them up and then they got stuck together. By the time they were able to get loose, it was too late. Yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate, but a couple of strategy things that you may not notice at home. Uh, the Alliance captain, 9065C, set themselves that match to play uh, 
16666B and 1404B in that match. So they played their third partner and their second partner, so that gives them some options. Now remember, in the round robin, these two face each other, and Math won the round robin match. That really doesn't matter. They're down one to nothing here, but now they can play any of the robots. Their, number, their alliance captain number one seed doesn't matter. So maybe they saw something in the matchups and they decided to go with a two and three. You know, it didn't end up mattering because tipped over, tangle, there's really nothing you can do. That's right. So let's take a look at some of that action there. So this is when all four robots are working. And again, you know, with all four robots going, they're very evenly matched. Um, it's just the unfortunate tip accident. You know, the, everybody's pushing and fighting at the top, scoring. Again, you got to pay attention to where you're driving. You see four stars in the other robot coming over to dump it over, and you're going to cross-drive in front of them? I mean, yeah, you just can't do that. You're going to find yourself on your back. Yeah, it's never a good thing when we have these sort of tipping actions, but it was really cool how their partner tried to help him up. It was, it was a risky move, but they had to try it. Yeah, I was rooting for him. I mean, they're leaving it all on the field. They know they got to win two matches, and, you know, getting both action working, they were pretty evenly matched, so it was worth a shot. Let's take a look at the official score from that match. 47 to nothing for the Blue Alliance. Engineering is now up 1-0. As we get ready for...